Hello YouTube, today so we're going to be working on some more MATLAB stuff. We're going to be using math to MATLAB kind of conversion here. It's going to be a ba basic introductory video on uh, just some basic problems you can do. So I found this thing online, um, and it's just some basic problems that you can approach with MATLAB. Now if you're just starting kind of like I am, um, what I usually do is I look at this problem and I try to figure out how I would do it, you know, by hand, and then use the computer to help me out. So that's kind of the method we're going to do in this video. So you have an ice cream cone 9 inches tall, rim has a diameter of 3 inches. Uh, determine the weight of the ice cream, assuming that the cone, or the ice cream is a perfect hemisphere on the cone. Uh, neglect the thickness, assume the gallon of ice cream weighs 10 pounds and occupies 6.5 cubic feet. So what I did, it was I drew it here. I said this math to MATLAB. Um, kind of doing the math first and then putting it into MATLAB to get your answer. So I drew out the given information here. You have your radius, your height of the cone, and it says assume the gallon of ice cream weighs um, 10 pounds and occupies. I just wrote the given information. But notice how this is in feet and our um, units of measurement are given in inches. So there's many ways you can approach this. I'm going to probably stick with inches for this video. Uh, now what happens is I wrote out the formulas I need to solve. So we want uh, the cone, which is in brown, and there's the volume for the cone, and then the volume for the sphere, sphere is in blue, but we're only going to be using the upper portion, so we're going to have to divide by two. So that's how we find the volume of the entire ice cream cone. Um, you take the volume of just the cone, and then you add the upper hemisphere of the volume. Um, so, and then if you want to find the weight, since we have a proportion here, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be finding this later, and then you find using proportions to get the weight of the um, ice cream. So let's kind of jump into it right now. So normally you would be writing the comments um, for the cone um, and I'll, I'll do that right now or at least the method. So usually I write the problem too. I would write problem and then blah 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 and then I usually do method. This is just me. I've never been taught this. This is just kind of my own thing here. Um, so so find volume of cone, um, let's see, we're going to want to, how would be a good way to do the method here? Well, you get the point, you just, you say the method, so we're going to calculate volume of cone and add upper hemisphere to get volume of ice cream cone, something like that, I don't know, um, and explain how you do that, and then you could say, uh, then calculate weight by using proportions from given information, something like that. Now, this is probably not the best explanation, but um, let's get to the math part. So now on MATLAB, the computer knows nothing about the problem, so you have to teach it, I guess you could say, or let it know what's going on. So I'm going to say the radius is 1.5. 1.5. I put a semicolon in this, uh, suppress the output, and I'm going to comment, say, that units are in inches. Well, I'll save that for later. Um, so then we also have height, which is equal to 9. Oops, I didn't suppress it. Oh, well, usually you put the suppress, otherwise it gets kind of messy. I'm going to say units, inches, something like that. Uh, MATLAB does not read what you put for a percent sign for comments. Note that. So um, for you guys, or I'll put, like, volume of the cone. And then you use that formula, but since I already kind of wrote it out over here, I'm just going to kind of be referring back to this. So we'll make volume of the cone uh, V equal to, we'll actually put volume of cone, volume cone equals one third times, make sure you do the space, it's just kind of like um, appropriate, well you don't have to, uh, but it just looks nicer. So you, the user understands kind of what you did. Um, we have our r, and then you want to square it. So you put square it there, and then you multiply it by the height. Um, and you know what? I'm actually going to put it all close together since I guess it is all right. But generally, they like that white space, as it's called. Um, so we're going to get the volume, and that's going to be um, in inches. Note, units are in inches cubed. Uh, something like that. Um, so that is the volume of the cone. So now we need to have um, 
this new R, I'm just going to like just outline this again. So this R is the same R, but I want to make note that um, this is the radius of the sphere now. So it's using the same radius, but I just want to differentiate so the person knows why I'm using that R again um, for this. So now we'll have volume sphere to equal, and the formula for that is 4 thirds, it's over here, 4 thirds pi r, or 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we'll do the same thing, 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. Um, that's just the formula. Um, and then we get that. But, um, must a volume, or note, I guess, uh, this is units, or, yeah, same units, but what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put a note yet. Um, we're going to want to divide this by 2 to get the um, upper hemisphere. So, we're going to call it cream, because that's the ice cream part, I guess you could say. Um, so, cream equals, oh, is that, yeah, we'll do cream, I guess. Um, yeah, cream equals volume sphere divided by 2. Um, so that is the volume of the upper hemisphere. Um, so this is what we say, like, uh, divide, divided by 2 to get um, upper hemisphere representing ice cream or something. This is probably really bad, but um, I want to make this video much shorter, so when I'm kind of new to this, so my thought process is kind of slow. Um, so we did get that as our um, volume, uh, but now, we, or as each part, now we got to add it together. So we put um, total volume of the ice cream, is the total volume, and that'll be the volume of cone plus the cream. Um, to get the ice cream, and the total volume should be 28.2743, and that's also note in units uh, cubed inches. So I'm going to actually put a note here again. Um, current units are in inches cubed. We must now convert to feet cubed. So. Uh, because the given information specified um, that the that 10 gallons here over here, 10 gallons occupies 6.5 feet cubed. Uh, now we're going to want to convert our units, our calculated value, into cubic feet. So to do that, um, you simply take um, I'm just going to call this cubic volume, um, and we'll, yeah. No, it doesn't make sense. Um, volume. I want to say converted volume. Um, and that'll be our total volume. And we're going to divide that by, since there are 12 inches in one foot, so you divide by, um, excuse me, multiply by 112, so divide by 12, in other words. Um, but you want to notice that, um, that since it's cubed, we also have to cube it as well, common mistake. So remember to do that. Um, and that is our cubic feet um, for converted volume here. So now when we set up the proportion, we just calculated this right here, uh, the volume of ice cream in feet cubed. That's what this represents. So um, volume of volume of ice cream cone in cubic feet. Um, so that's what we have now, right there. So then we just simply use the proportion. So um, what I'm going to do is just kind of solve for x here um, to make it a lot easier. And x is going to be, instead of just using that, we're going to computer. The x here is weight of volume. X, weight of volume. Uh, weight of ice cream. So I'm just going to put weight of ice cream. Um, as the thing we're looking for as well. Um, so that would be simply using that proportion here. So the volume times 10 divided by 6.5 feet. Um, so that would be converted volume. Let me come over here. 
So converted volume times 10. So times 10 divided by 6.5. Um, so 6. And that is our weight of the ice cream um, in gallons. So that's pretty cool. It's about a quarter gallon. Um, we're just less than that. Yeah. Or wait. It's in gallons. So yeah, that's kind of small. So it's not even that. That's uh, 0 0.0252 gallons. Um, so that's kind of cool how we just figured out using MATLAB, um, the math to MATLAB as I like to call it, um, for solving a problem such as this. Um, this is obviously just an introductory video to see what you can kind of do, getting familiar with the codes, how to define your variables and stuff. It, for me, it's still kind of hard to define stuff to make it not as confusing, but still make sense um, to the person who would have never seen this picture before. And that's kind of what you have to communicate. How would someone, just by looking at this, get this picture and everything that you're trying to convey? That's kind of the moral here, or the goal, I should say. Um, so I'm going to try another problem uh, later in the next video, so stay tuned for that, um, and hope you enjoyed this one.